In our previous video, a great question from Ryan came up. Hi, this worked great, but when I make modifications to a calendar invite, like canceling an event, the notification of the change is sent from the main Gmail account, not the new account I set up. Do you know how to fix that? Well, Ryan, we did some testing and here are the results. Before we start, if you need to configure Gmail and hosting your from scratch, first watch these two videos. Please do not skip these steps. To answer Ryan's question, our hosting your email events at rooftopfl.com has been added to our Google Calendar already. First, open calendar.google.com and your default Gmail account will appear in the corner. Click on the profile icon and then you can add another account. We already added events at Rooftop, but we'll show you how we did that. So we, we click on add another account and we entered the hosting your email that we configured earlier. Now, once you finish here, we're going to enter the hosting your's webmail password. This is what you will enter here. And then on the next screen, it's going to take you to the Google Calendar. Now in the corner, notice that now we're logged in as events at Rooftop FL. Stay until the end as we will be testing the creation, as you can see here, update and cancellation of an event. We're inviting info at iknowledgeschool.com as our recipient. And we'll show you how everything looks from that account. It will take just one little click to subscribe to our channel and get more hosts in your videos too. Thank you. This is how the invitation is going to look like. And check that the organizer at the bottom is events at rooftop. Let's make some changes and go back to Google Calendar. The secret here is to go back to your hosting your Gmail account in Google Calendar before you change any event. Hover the mouse on the top right hand corner to double check that and yes, we're under events and you can switch between Gmail accounts if you need to. Let's reschedule our test event. The new date will be the 29th. And once we change those settings and going to click save, we're going to add a small note for our guest. And once we're done here, we're going to click send. Now, after this, we're going to switch back to our guest account to see this update. Our guest is going to receive an email similar to this one. Notice that at the bottom, we have the organizer as the events at rooftop and the notes are in green. We're going back to the calendar again to delete this event. We're adding a small note and let's check how the message looks in our next screen. This is how the cancel event looks like, and the notes are now in red, keeping the organizer with the hostinger's email. We hope this tutorial was helpful, and thank you once again for your support. See you in the next video.